Hey man, this sir sir man, I want y'all to check this out now. I mean, you use your own conclusion of this right here, but check this out. It's been five days since Secret Service Director Ron Rowe was questioned on how his agency nearly let Trump get killed. Still no answers. The FBI said they interviewed thousands of people, but have nothing new to share. We're not getting anywhere with the locals. Butler County denied our FOIA requests for body cam videos and radio comms. Today, the DOJ announced they arrested a Pakistani man with ties to Iran who also wanted to kill Trump. And they arrested him a day before Trump was shot in Pennsylvania, but told us just yesterday. We're also learning he's a Biden migrant who got loose on the FBI's watch. So is this arrest why Trump finally got Secret Service counter snipers at his rally? Are y'all listening to this? And if the FBI is arresting foreign agents who want to kill a former president, shouldn't the Secret Service have had more security in Butler? But this Iranian plot to kill Trump feels like a red herring, a distraction from the real failures on July 13th. I when think so. Too busy setting up a Pakistan Entertainment purposes only. To neutralize the homegrown threat in PA. And what's going on in the Pittsburgh field office? The lead site agent hasn't been fired. We still don't have a name. No one in the media cares about the story anymore. Only a few good politicians want answers. Senator Josh Hawley told Primetime on Monday what one whistleblower revealed to him about the security that day. Listen. This individual, the site agent, the lead agent, was known to the Trump campaign to be inexperienced, to be ineffectual, to be, frankly, incompetent at their job. Well, I'm also told by whistleblowers that on that day, she was not enforcing the normal security protocol. She was not checking people's IDs. She did not use Secret Service agents. Most of the agents there that day were not Secret Service agents. They were Homeland Security agents. And get this, Jesse, most of them had never worked a rally before. More whistleblowers are coming out of the woodwork, and Senator Ron Johnson's been pretty busy contacting them. And here he is. Senator, what have whistleblowers come forward and told you? Well, we are getting, uh, you know, literally gigabytes worth of information in terms of video downloads. Uh, you know, we have body cams. Uh, you know, unlike uh, with you, local law enforcement is actually cooperating with us. Good. Uh, the feds aren't are really doing nothing. You know, we it was spent two weeks since Acting Director Rowe told senators in that hearing that we would be having access to Secret Service personnel for transcribed interviews in days, not weeks. We're hopeful that next week it'll happen. That's two weeks since he testified. Uh, but, but the bottom line is I think what our investigation in the end will be is an in investigation of the investigation. That, that's sad, but this is not the way you really handle a, a credible investigation. If you've got a crime, you've got multiple perpetrators, what, what law enforcement does is try to apprehend those people and then interview them separately. I mean, if we're really talking four, five, six weeks before Congress has an opportunity to interview the Secret Service personnel on the ground, uh, does that give them time to get their stories straight? We, we've requested, by the way, the day after the, the incident, I wrote to Director Ray, Attorney General Garland, uh, demanding, first of all, they preserve all the records uh, and re asking a host of questions and requesting all these interviews. Wow. I still haven't heard. They're not cooperating. From that request. So what do you guys think? Now of a bipartisan investigation of our committees and our subcommittee. Uh, we need Democrats to at least threaten to compel testimony because we're just not getting the information from the feds, which is, from my standpoint, not unusual. I've, I've been trying to do oversight on federal agencies for years. All right, and man. they just refuse to be accountable to the American public. I wanted to share that with you guys, man. So, man, what y'all guys think was going on, man? Or what done happened? Or what that should have happened that didn't happen? Hmm. <laughs> Like I say, search, search for their YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, all that stuff. Man, but y'all answer me on this. What y'all think about this, man? Search, search, network.